Welcome to Meet the Docs with your host, Grant Otten, brought to you by Columbus Community Hospital. Welcome to another edition of Meet the Docs, sponsored by the Columbus Community Hospital. I'm your host from News Channel Nebraska, Grant Otten, and I'm joined by Dr. Nicholas Wolf today. Dr. Wolf, how are you doing? Good. Well, uh, I guess just to start off, can you tell me a little bit about what it is you do? I'm an obstetrician gynecologist, so I take care of women essentially through their lifetime. So. Um, we work with women through, you know, really those teen years, age 15, 16 is about the first time they come see me all the way up until, you know, I have some women that are in their 90s that still come see me. Um, mm. Primarily, a lot of our care is dealt with women who are pregnant, thinking about becoming pregnant um, or in their childbearing years. And then we do a lot of work with them and before those years as well as after those years. Well, why did you decide to get into this field? What drew you into doing this kind of practice? You know, when I was in medical school, I really liked OBGYN. You get some long-term follow-up with your patients. You get to see them for the most part every year. You get to work through them with some really, really good times and some really bad times, unfortunately. But you get to build that bond with your patients. And then there's a lot of surgeries that we also do in this field as well. So the culmination of the two really drew me to the field. So you guys are here in the new building in the Columbus Women's Healthcare. Mm -hmm. What's it been oper like operating in these new facilities? It's a great new facility to operate in. We've got easy access to the hospital. There's plenty of other adjuvant care around with a bunch of different specialties. So it's great for our patients to be able to come to one place to see so many different specialties. Well, you have a strong background in nutritional health. Can you kind of talk about your educational background getting to this point? Yeah, so I did my undergraduate degree in dietetics, um, and I was a dietitian for a short time. Um, I then went on to get my master's degree in uh, nutritional sciences as well, and at that time I decided I wanted to do a little bit more, so I went to medical school. I was in Kansas City for medical school for four years, and then I went to Creighton University for my uh, residency in OBGYN, and then that brought me to Columbus in 2012. And what did bring you to Columbus? And you obviously had a good time at Creighton, but uh, now you're here. You know, my wife and I are both from small towns, so Columbus allows us to still have that small town feel, um, kind of be part of a smaller community. It's a great place to raise our kids, um, yet it's still close to um, larger cities, especially for medical care if we would need to send patients. We're, we're still close enough that uh, we have other subspecialties close to us. But from a family aspect, I mean, this is great for us. This is exactly what we're looking for. And you touched on a few of these things earlier, but what is it or why is it someone would need to come see you? Well, nobody ever wants to come see me. <laughs> um, but uh, the main reasons are um, just general all General overall health is one of the main reasons. Uh, women do come in for their annual exams. Uh, the second re thing to think of would be pregnancy. So we assist people um, with either fertility problems. Uh, we assist them all the way through pregnancy, whether that be a simple pregnancy or high-risk pregnancy, um, all the way through the delivery and care of their baby. Um, after that, we take care of women anywhere in between, um, really their teen years and um, up until into their 90s. Um, people always uh, also see us for incontinence problems. Um, also, anybody would have uh, any sort of um, female pelvic dysfunction, we assist in those. Um, we do hysterectomies. That uh, was probably one of the main surgeries that we do as well. Very cool. You've been here in Columbus for a couple of years, and uh, obviously over a long time span, the hospital in the city has grown a lot. Have you seen some growth since you've moved here? Yeah, I've seen, especially in our obstetric population, it has grown quite a bit uh, since I've been here in four years. And then just the amount of um, gynecologic surgery that we do has also picked up, I think, as people feel more comfortable coming here, knowing that we can do everything that they do at a larger facility, but right at home. And so you're at Columbus Women Healthcare. How do you guys work with the hospital? What do you guys do with Columbus Community Hospital? Well, Columbus Community Hospital is where we do all our procedures. So we work with uh, the hospital in several different ways, one of those being uh, surgically. Um, so we're always in touch with the uh, surgery department and uh, the new, uh, any new surgeries we have or any new techniques that we've learned, they'll help assist us uh, for all our minimally invasive procedures. Um, as far as our obstetric care, um, half of my time is spent here in this office. The other half is usually spent up on the labor and delivery ward. So we're working hand in hand with them, um, keeping everything current with all of today's standards, and then making sure moms and babies and families have a, a smooth transition from coming in all the way through delivery until the day they leave. Well, Dr. Wolf, thank you so much for joining yep. me. 
And thank you guys for tuning in as well for another edition of Meet the Doc, sponsored by the Columbus Community Hospital. He's Dr. Wolf. I'm your host, Grant Otten from News Channel Nebraska. We'll see you next time.